Alright, hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to the Pandemonium. Hi, I'm Papa Guy and let's continue this uh, playthrough of Moonlighter. We're currently in our shop. We have some stuff on our sales bench. Um, is it nighttime? Can't quite remember. It was nighttime. So let's go to a dungeon and see what we can uh, scrounge. Noise. No. Uh oh. <sighs> okay, that was. That was creepy. Alright, what's going on? How did that. Okay. Hold on. Alright, sorry about that. Can I... yeah. Alright, let's talk to... Um, what would I like to talk about? Well, what is there to talk about? It seems like there's a lot to talk about, but I can't select anything. Okay. Alright, okay, so I'm not talking about anything. I'm sorry. That's the next one, the grasslands. All right, all right. Uh, golem stuff, right? Let's enter and see uh, see what happens. Hopefully, without dying this time. <laughs> all right. Okay. Three ways to go. I mean. Ow. Good, good, good. What's in here? Gold runes. Artifact must be placed to left or right of bag. Right. To left or right. I can't put it there. Oh. Oh. Well. Destroys one artifact curse in the direction shown when placed. Wait. Are we playing Backpack Hero or something? <laughs> what? So... Destroys one artifact curse in the direction shown when placed. Alright, okay. Artifact must be placed at the top of or bottom of bag. Oh, that also counts toward my bag. Well, that's uh, good to know. All right, so we can keep going left here. All right, let's check it out. Not doing great. <laughs> oh shit. Alright, okay, that was that was slightly better. Nothing down here. Okay, so let's go back. Back over here. Ow. I don't know. Ow. Alright, okay. Better. Alright, let's keep going right.
Good. Better. Alright. Ow. Dang it. <laughs> Death by misadventure. Alright. Yeah, that makes sense. Alright. Back to town. Let's see. I don't think I've kept any of that. I guess I should have just returned, right? Ow. Let's let's see the inventory. Yeah, that's all gone. All right. Let's enter it again. Just go again immediately, and uh, we'll see. I feel like this might be better played with a with a controller, but ow. Ow. Or I should just dodge more. But... Alright, good. So what does... What if I quit move it? Does it just put a... Alright, okay. It just automatically picks a spot for it. Okay, that's good. I can live with that. Alright, let's keep going. Jesus. Ow. Alright, what's this? Anything? Was there anything in there? A broken club. Okay. Alright. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh, 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 I can't do anything about this. What? Didn't hurt though. Didn't heal either. Uh. Today marks my first steps into these mysterious dungeons. They were discovered not far from Rhinoka, a small and incredibly charming village just north of the crater. And they are quite a unique occurrence. Any number of adventurers may enter a dungeon at once, but no one will adventure together. These dungeons seem to build themselves around the one entry. A unique maze for each person, never to the same labyrinth twice. One must ask, though, if no one is currently inside the dungeon, does it even exist? Now these, these are the questions. Many right now are flooding to these dungeons for their treasure, completely disregarding the inherent danger of the hostile creatures inside, just for some gold, some fame. But not I, no. It's all about the questions for me. Where did these dungeons come from? Why do they constantly shift and change? And why are they filled with unseen treasures? I'm not here for the what? I'm here for the how and why. Alright. Nothing else? Dead end. Alright. Let's make our way back then, I guess. Oh. Alright. Okay, so this is where we entered, so let's go north. Ow. Okay. Not great. Not terrible. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going up.
let's go back to town. Let's sell some stuff. <laughs> and then, uh, perchance, upgrade some weapons and stuff. I mean, I managed to get some gold last time. Does he? Oh. Oh. He has something to say now. Dungeons closed. Ah, something of much contention. If they were not closed, maybe Rhinoko would never have fallen into such despair. It was the deaths of the heroes, mainly. Merchants were never fool enough to venture further than they could manage. But those heroes, they were a bit more headstrong. More apt to dive without potions. Very few of them carried pendants as well. So if they fell, they never came out. Do you want to ask anything else? No. That's it, old man. I'll see you back at the shop. Alright. Okay. Let's place... All these, let's place these. Alright. Empowering crystal, more iron bars, and whetstone. Alright. Um, now. How did I do the upgrade stuffs again? Let's open my inventory, let's check here. Uh. Uh, hmm. Let's check. No. Okay. It's right. Message board. That was it. Let's, uh... Let's do this. Get the blacksmith into town. There we go. Oh, that wasn't the blacksmith. <laughs> that was just a construction worker. <laughs> Oops. All right, what do you got for me, bruh? Andre. Aye, you must be Will, no? The one who requested my forge? My name is Andre, Forge Master Extraordinaire. If it's weapons or armor you seek, a Vulcan's Forge is the place. <laughs> okay. What this? Fabric bandana, iron helmet. Oh. Cost 4,000. All right. That's uh You don't have the right materials or gold. Yeah, alright. It's a lot of gold. Ooh. Buster Big Sword. Rock Big Sword. Okay. Alright. Oh. 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 This has a lot of options. Alright, cool. So, if I were to say... Here. Right? I got... This is what I have, right? Isn't it? I have this. I think. Materials or gold. All right. Okay. So let's add that to the wish list. Right. Training short sword. I think I have that currently. Training short sword. Yeah. All right. And a broom spear. 
Okay. All right. Head back in the shop. Oh. <coughs> uh. Apologies for that. Don't hold to sleep. Uh, put this in storage. Yes. Put that in storage. And uh, let's go do another. Let's go do another quick dungeon. And uh, call it quits before we die again and lose all our stuff. Because <laughs> I'm really not great at gauging uh, how long I can survive somewhere. Golem dungeon. All right. <coughs> this what what is this okay cool spend a lot of merchants to return from dungeons in exchange of gold oh it's 200 gold to Okay. Ow. All right. Okay. All right, so if I jump down here again, is that stuff on the ground here? No, it's not. But, uh, oh, what was that sparkly stuff down here? Oh, it's just this. Okay. Alright, okay, let's keep going left. Oh, jeez. Can I touch the red? I can't touch the red. I see, I see. Let's just, let's just go again. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe go the other side. Ow. 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 That hurt a lot. Alright. One more chamber, I guess. No. Alright. Alright, okay. Oh. Shall we try one more chamber? Okay, okay, that's good to know. Let's just leave him in there. Alright. So, I was attacked by a moving rock today. Can you imagine? A rock that moves? I did what any sensible person would do in this situation and smacked it right back. It shattered upon the ground, leaving behind a stone heart. Uh, core, as we have come to call it. It's one of the many unique treasures that can only be found in this dungeon. Dropped by a guard unique to only this dungeon. I have to say, each of these dungeons have a very particular, very particular environment. A culture all its own. Okay. So the dungeon environments are what's referred to as cultures. Alright.
Ow. Okay. I mean, I can keep him away with this one. Let's, uh... I think we can, right? It's 200 gold, though. Jesus. Alright, let's go to town. And I think... I'm gonna have to go to bed for the day to turn around. I think. Alright, what's this? Flying golem made to collect materials and repair golems with them. Oh. Okay, I see. Enter the house. Uh, I don't. Yeah, I don't think I can open the store here. Yeah, hold to open shop, but it's not doing. It. Okay, it's not doing it. Hold to sleep. There we go. Saving. Thank you very much. Alright, open the shop. Right, he's looking for weapons and armor. Alright, so they're very interested in the... Zelda, okay, sure. He's real happy with that as well. Um, let's place... Oh, I need some of this stuff. Alright, so let's... Um, quick place this and then... I have no idea how expensive it is. <laughs> uh, let's check here. Empowering crystal, you know, it's 40, 40 a crystal. That, that sounds good to me. Golem core. Yeah, that that's this. And that's also very expensive, guys. It's... It, uh, it's it's 60 per golem core. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, sold. Do I have some stuff in here? The empowering crystals. not what I meant to do. There you go. Wait, this is too expensive? Okay, let's... I feel like that was accurately priced at like 60. Oh, well, he's not happy with that, so it's slightly too expensive. Alright, okay, yep. Sold. Shops closed, people. <laughs> Good. All right. Yep. Balance. Popularity. Ah, 
So the vine's popularity dropped. That's good to know. No sense selling that again. 641. Okay, good. Good. Now, let's go to the message board. Let's go... Shop investments? These are so expensive. The shop expansion allows merchants to decorate it to please their customers as well as additional space for their items. Okay. Alright. Um, the wooden hat. I mean, this one's hired. Let's... Let's grab them as well. Alright. Good, good. I mean, we're not off to a great start. I'll give you that. <laughs> I'll hand you that. It's, it's, nope. Let's go talk to Eris. Ah, a customer. My apologies, it's just this book, it's so good. Okay, yes, I am Eris, weaver and potion master. Come to the wooden hat when you need a potion or enchantment. What do you want to craft today? Mm. Potions? Oh, oh, okay, that's cool. Well, stuff definitely increases in price a whole bunch. Alright. The wooden hat armor. Uh, okay, she could just enchant it, I guess. And then it also costs 2,000? Sheesh! Alright, goodbye. Alright, okay. Um... Nothing down here. What's the kid have to say? Ugh. Well, can we play tag next time I stop by your shop? Uh, possibly, yeah, sure, maybe, yeah. Alright. Tomo, well, I saw you in the dungeons earlier, mister. Did you bring me anything mysterious? No. I did not. Falcon's Forge. Yup. Alright. Let's try and do one more run. Try to get a bit farther. <laughs> or get out with a bit more. That's the goal, I guess. Get out with a bit more. Get him. Alright. The broom's actually better than... Ow. Never mind what I said. What I just said. <laughs> uh, to the left or right of the bag. And foundry wrists. Artifact must be placed to the left or right of the bag. All right, okay. Just move it all somewhere in the bag, please. Thank you. And then, since this is what we keep, let's put that one there. And let's put this one there. And then this one... There, grab these, put them there. Grab these, put them there. Stack these. Yeah, that's better. Alright, okay, okay. Okay, so we went left. Let's keep going left. Oh, shit. Ah. 
Ow. Okay, that's not half bad. Alright. No sparkly bits on the screen, I guess. Oh. What's this? Is this a healing circle? Or a healing fountain? Why? Why do our tools keep disappearing? Chambers full of precious stone are left untouched, but rooms and chests holding our most basic tools keep vanishing. Oh. It was a healing pool. That's nice. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ow! Ow! Get him! Get him! Get him! Ow! That... Can't believe that hit me! But... Good! Oh... What's this? I... I maybe should have... <laughs> it's one of the strange... This is one of the strange devices the creature dropped when he fled. Okay. This one's rich, actually. Almost quite literally rich. For every item you place into this device, gold of some perceived value drops out. It's great if you need to use your pendant in a pinch. The device looks like a mirror, so... I'm just gonna call it the mirror. Keeping it simple. I do wonder though, where do the treasures dropped inside go? And am I getting the best deal here? What is this? Oh. Okay. Okay. I drop stuff in there and I get money. Alright. Um, I'm not looking too great. I do have a bit of stuff in my inventory, um, which yeah. So, oh, now it cost costs three hundred to go back. Merchant mirror, a mirror that turns items into a small amount of gold. So these these. Roots, for example. If I put one of these in here, that gave me a gold. All right. All right. Let's just um. Yeah. Let's let's get out of here and put in a break. And yeah, that's the end of the run. All right. Let's go back to town. And put a cut in here. Alright, back into town. And then tomorrow we can open the store and uh, see how much we can we can earn. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. If you like the video, drop a like. And if you want to see more, press that subscribe button. And I'd love to see you in future videos. Bye bye, everyone.